Hello everyone. Five of Wands. People are out to get you. Have you been feeling guilty enough lately about your existence in this life? You probably don't have the resources to do what you want to do and probably nobody else does either. If you're dating that guy, he's probably doing something wrong. Probably your family is too. Like you have some really terrible people around you and you should probably feel worse about that. I want to make sure you're feeling guilty and anxious enough, you know, that's that's what I like. Like, yeah, you, you know, things are gonna be bad. Things are gonna be bad for like a while. You know, don't get so cocky about yourself. That's just too much. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. I, uh, just be yourself. Just be yourself. You know, I don't really take the criticisms to heart. There's actually, to be honest, there are very few. So many of you are just such amazing people and share your stories and your gifts and sometimes even bring up really uh, substantial and important questions or comments for me that I can take in and take with me. There's like a lot of legitimate the conversations that go on, but of course there's always going to be the conversations and so often critics of me talk about me being narcissistic for the way I look, for being too positive and not bringing enough of the negative, for being too obsessed with play and joy and first of all I don't think those people are actually listening to my readings and second of all is that really what people come here for I don't know but what I do know is that I want to help people feel safe and calm that is my primary objective and I am a big believer that in cultivating a sense of safe and calm and hopefulness within ourselves we are more likely to take conscientious steps to help each other help our communities and help the world we are more likely to take care of our shadow aspects to take take care of ourselves when grief and trauma do inevitably come across our paths you don't need some outside person like me coming in every month and giving you a reading that tells you why you need to be in more pain why you need to be in more fear, why you need to be in more doubt. And I understand that a lot of times critics f feel frustrated by the joy and the lightness when they're in a dark place. And so I'm not here to judge people. But what I will say is I am not going to edit myself into <laughs> that reader, that person, that leader, that teacher. I'm just not going to do it. It's never going to happen. And for any of you creatives out there, anybody who also is contending with those voices that are telling you, well, you know, you need to do it differently. You need to look different. You need to sound different. Um, without offering any support, any wisdom, any constructive ideas and unsolicited as well, you know, those voices cannot be the ones that are helping you direct your path. Of course, healthy conversations and advice that you are asking from, for from people that are close to you, that love you, that are looking out for you, that's very different. But we all know what I'm talking about here. We're talking about the aimless, envious, angry, uh, comments that come in and tell a person they need to be different than they are. And there is humor in it. You've got to have humor in it because I just think about if I actually was like, okay, I'm going to take these comments to heart. I'm going to be these things. How funny life would be. I mean, it would be <laughs> the worst, the worst space in the world. No offense to those critics, but it would really be awful. It would be so boring so empty, so lifeless, so uninspirational, so pointless. And I love thinking about these parallel worlds where in it, I am this dour negative person that wants you to be paranoid and jealous of and and ready for familiar trauma patterns to keep coming up. 
Um, it's funny to think about a version of the world where I am self-hating enough to want to spread that to other people. I think that's hilarious. I don't know why. I just think it's funny. It's like, I don't know. Anyway, so I hope you all are having a beautiful day. And just remember that if you are somebody who is kind and loving and curious and empathic and joyful and you're bringing that to the world and there are people who are going to tell you you can't do it or that it's not smart enough or that why are you just doing things in the old ways that hurt um that it's a reminder that there is humor in it and that you don't have to live with that heaviness on you so i'm sending you all so much love <laughs>